Hello everyone, welcome to your English class. Uh, this week we will focus on unit 5. This is a new unit. If you have your book with you, please open your book on page 36. 3 and 6. 36. Ready? Para los que no tengan el libro, no se preocupen. Yo voy a asegurarme de enviar estas fotografías a su grupo de WhatsApp. Ok. On page 36, the new vocabulary for this unit is about the adjective to describe people. On exercise number one, we have to look at the photos and we have to follow the reading here and listen. Okay, let's listen very carefully. Page 36. Vocabulary. Exercise 1. Look at the photos. Read and listen. 1. The man is tall. The woman is short. 2. She's young. He's old. 3. The girls are pretty. They're cute. 4. The boys are handsome. They're cute. Very good. So if you can see on this sentence, we are talking about the description of each uh, person. For example, in the first picture, the man is tall and the woman is short. Can you see the difference here? The short, they are talking about the height. Number two says, she is young and he is old. They are talking about the age. The girls are pretty. They are cute. They are talking about the person. Okay. The boys are handsome and they are cute. There is a difference here. We have pretty on number three and we have handsome in number four. The difference is that pretty, we use it to call the girls bonitas or handsome to call the boys bonitos o guapos. Esa es la diferencia entre esos dos adjetivos. Todos los que están aquí en letra negrita son adjetivos. Los adjetivos son esas palabras que utilizamos para describir eh, ya sean personas, animales o cosas. ¿Qué tipo de descripciones? Por ejemplo, la edad, cómo lucen, su altura... Si es bonito, si es feo, si no es una descripción física, qué color son sus ojos, su pelo, no solamente el color, sino que es liso, es largo, es colocho, es corto. Todo ese tipo de descripciones le llamamos adjetivos. Ok, so let's continue on the same page. In exercise 3, we have some conversations. We have to number the picture according to the conversation. We have A, B, C, D, E. Okay? So let's try to repeat. Let's try to listen very carefully. And then we will answer together. Okay? Page 36. Vocabulary. Exercise 3. Listening comprehension. Listen to the conversations. Number the pictures according to the conversations. One. Wow, that guy is very handsome. Who is he? The actor. What's his name? Oh, it's Looney, Alvin Looney. But he's so old. He is not old. And he is handsome. Two. Is he your dad? Ok, vamos a hacer una pausa. ¿De qué creen que estaba hablando las chicas? Ok. ¿Creen que era la imagen A, la B, la C, la D o la E? Lo que acabamos de escuchar, ¿cuál de ellas está representando la conversación? La número uno era esta. Está contestada aquí como ejemplo. Número uno, están hablando de un 
de un actor en la, una película, en la televisión. Entonces, la número uno es letra C. Seguimos escuchando. Dad? Mm -hmm. He's short, but you're tall. Well, my mom's tall too. I'm tall because my mom's tall. Three. Is that your English teacher? Who? The tall man. Yep, that's Mr. Baker, my teacher. Four. Jessica, this is my grandma. Grandma, Jessica. Nice to meet you, Jessica. Nice to meet you too, Mrs. Palma. Well, goodbye, girls. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Wow, your grandmother is so young and pretty. Thanks. Five. Look at her. Is she pretty or what? She is pretty. What's her name again? Are you kidding? That's Monica Scarlatti, the Italian actor. Oh, she's cool. Okay, so after we listen, now we have to number from one to five the conversation in order that appear in the recording. So, okay, so now let's check the answers. Ready? Number one was letter C like the example that we just did. Number two is letter D. Number three is letter E. They were talking about the English teacher, E. Number four is letter B. They were talking about the grandma that she is so young. And number five is letter A. ¿Lo contestaron así todos? Muy bien. Okay, let's continue and let's go to the next page. Page 37. Ready? On page 37, there is a small conversation that we will read and try to listen very carefully uh, to the conversation about a classmate. Let's focus on the new vocabulary, okay? Page 37. Topic snapshot. Exercise 1. Read and listen to the conversation about a new classmate. 1. Wow, Marcos, who's the new girl? The tall girl? Mm-hmm. She's pretty. What's her name? 2. Milagros, but her nickname's Millie. She's from Peru. Really? She's very cute. Introduce me. Okay. Three. Later in the hall. Hi, guys. What's up? Millie, this is my friend Lucas. Lucas, Millie. Hi, Lucas. Nice to meet you. Four. Nice to meet you, too. Where are you from in Peru? Me? From Cusco. Cusco? That's near Machu Picchu. How cool is that? Okay, let's try to find some new words. They were uh, talking about these two friends first and then uh, they were talking first Marcos and Lucas and then um, Marcos introduced Lucas to Millie. Uh, let's see number one. Well, Marcos, who's the new girl, the tall girl? Hmm, she's pretty. What's her name? Let's find some new words in this one. For example, new, new girl. New is an adjective. New means nuevo. Nueva o nuevo. The tall girl. Tall is an adjective too. Tall means alto o alta. She's pretty. What's her name? Pretty es otro adjetivo. Vimos anteriormente que significaba bonita. On number two, let's find some adjectives. But her name is Millie. She's from Peru. Really? She's very cute. Introduce me. Okay. Cute. Cute is an adjective. Do you know what means cute? Cute means 
uh, lindo, cuando alguien es lindo o es dulce. Number three. Hi guys, what's up? Millie, this is my friend Lucas. Lucas, Millie. Hi Lucas, nice to meet you. Uh, Creo que todas estas las conocen. What's up es la frase para decir cómo estás. What's up. Um, nice to meet you. Es mucho gusto en conocerte. Y creo que al final. Nice to meet you too. Where are you from in Peru? From Cusco. Cusco. That's near Machu Picchu. How cool is that? Near. Near significa cerca. Ok. O cercano. How cool, cool significa buena onda, cool. Okay, after we're reading this small conversation, we have to answer some questions with a statement according to that topic snapshot. Vamos a completar estas oraciones o estas preguntas con oraciones que tengan el, su respuesta en lo que acabamos de leer o en lo que acabamos de escuchar, que fue la conversación de Lucas. Marcos y Mil, ¿ok? Uh, como un reminder, reminder significa siempre recordar, use capital letter for names of people, cities and communities, countries. Uh, siempre tenemos que escribir capital letters, son letras mayúsculas, para nombres de personas, ciudades y países. Esa es una regla gramatical. Y no solo en inglés, en español también. Okay, so on exercise number two, it says, number one, who's the pretty new girl? Who's the pretty new girl? She's Milagros. What country is she from? Country, recuerdan que significa país. Ya lo vimos. Uh, number three, what's her nickname? Nickname es como un sobrenombre o un diminutivo de su nombre. Who are the two boys? Who significa quién. ¿Quiénes son los dos chicos que estaban hablando? What city is the girl from? ¿De qué ciudad eres esa chica? And number six says, is the girl tall or short? De la chica que estábamos hablando, ella era alta o baja. Short significa baja. Contestemos este ejercicio y vamos a ver un poco más de algunos adjetivos. Espero que ya hayan contestado el ejercicio. Eh, después me pueden enviar eh, las respuestas a través del grupo de WhatsApp o si tienen dudas o si tienen preguntas. A continuación vamos a ver un listado de adjetivos para describir personas. Este lo van a copiar todos en su cuaderno. Y si tienen un diccionario a su mano, ya sea en libro o de forma digital, por favor, escriban el significado o su traducción a la par. Let's uh, practice some adjectives. After you finish copy all this, you will have to describe yourself. Cada uno después de haber escrito eh, todo este vocabulario van a hacer como una descripción de cada uno de ustedes. En este caso, algunos estamos hablando acerca de personalidad, pero también quiero que incluyan adjetivos de apariencia. Por ejemplo, si es alto, si es bajo, si es gordo, si es flaco, eh, si somos bonitos o si somos feos, según la percepción, ¿verdad? Porque todos aquí somos súper bonitos. Para, para alguien somos bonitos. Entonces, eh, encontremos... Por lo menos cinco adjetivos que nos describan a cada quien, a cada uno como persona. ¿okay? Pueden ser adjetivos de apariencia y también pueden ser adjetivos que describan nuestra personalidad. ¿Estamos claros? Por hoy ha sido todo chicos. Espero que la clase eh, les haya gustado. Eh, estamos a la orden. Cualquier duda o pregunta que tengan a través de nuestro número en WhatsApp. Espero que estén seguros en casa y estamos a la orden. Cualquier, cualquier comentario. Feliz día y que Dios lo bendiga.